Welcome to another episode of Real Mob LCN on location. Today we're going to continue with Gravesend North Part 1, second video. And we're going to be checking out the wrong number cocktail lounge, which was the headquarters of one of the most notorious vicious and psychotic mafia hitmen perhaps in history Tommy Karate Patera aka Karate Guy and this location is on West 7th Street and Avenue T in Brooklyn in the Graves End section right now we're walking in front of the building which used to be the wrong number cocktail lounge which is on the southwest corner of west 7th and avenue t so we're looking at the new building which has a new face new construction which used to be the wrong number cocktail lounge and as many know there used to be a sign and i remember younger with different colored letters and it was kind of cockeyed the letters so it looked crazy itself the sign itself that read the wrong number cocktail lounge it was basically a dive bar one of those neighborhood bars where people get drunk and you know do the nasty stuff you know and that was Tommy Patera's headquarters, or one of them, in Brooklyn and Gravesend. Interestingly, this neighborhood, like I said in a prior video, was full of Italian Americans for many years and still houses many. But it's changing rapidly. As you see the Avenue U train station, which is the end train. And there goes the location of the wrong number cocktail lounge. A bit more about Tommy Patera. Tommy Patera, who was born in Brooklyn in 1958, who's still alive in prison and is uh, about 60, 65, 66 years old, I believe. Still serving time for multiple murders. Investigators say he probably killed up to 60 people in his uh, hitman career. This is the end train tracks, which are under the overpass of Avenue U. And Tommy Patera was a psychotic killer. They say he used to take jewelry and trinkets from his victims and keep them. He would bury them in Staten Island, in landfills along Victory Boulevard, Arthur Kill. And he had a twisted way of dismembering the bodies. Many times he would get nude and sit in a tub and cut these bodies up. That's why they also called him the butcher. And it said that he, uh, he thought he would take the energy from that person as he was dismembering them. At a young age, Tommy Karate was, uh, was abused, basically, by neighborhood kids. Even to this day, he always had a squeaky voice. People compared it to Mickey Mouse when he spoke. So as he got older, he got tired of it. And he wanted to learn karate he was influenced by a character from a TV show in the late 60s and early 70s which was played by Bruce Lee I believe it was Kato and Tommy Karate felt like he could be just like that and be able to uh, defeat all his foes one of uh, 
Tommy's main hits that put him on the map with the Mafia was uh, a favor, actually, to John Cotty back in, uh, I believe it was 1988. He offered to uh, kill Willie Boy Johnson, who was uh, an informant that was ratting on Gotti and his crew. So Tommy Karate and another guy, Kojak, Lord Willie Boy Johnson and whacked him in 1988. Tommy Karate was part of the Bonanno family and originally was under the three capos, Sonny Red and Delicato. And eventually, living in Brooklyn and Gravesend, which is a stone's throw away from Bad Beach, he got in tight with uh, Anthony Spiro, who was the unofficial boss of Bad Beach or Bad Avenue, as you would. It's said that Tommy Karate had a wife, Celeste Lapari, who he was madly in love with. And uh, she was uh, known to be using drugs during the 70s and 80s and unfortunately overdosed. And Tommy Karate blamed one of her friends for giving her the drugs that caused her to overdose. The story is, is that his associate, Frank Ganji, lured the girl into an apartment where Tommy was waiting for days to see if she would return. When the girl walked into the apartment, Tommy jumped out of nowhere and started beating her and hacking her and he shot her and killed her. He then went into a bathtub and began soaring and dismembering her as if he was getting a kick out of it. That was his vengeance for killing the only love of his life. We're walking along Avenue U between West 7th and West 8th Street. There's no address on the actual corner of the building, but the, the address now is 162 Avenue T. And this has been another real mob LCN on location. Gravesend North, part two. Tommy Karate. Maniac.